So, last night's video was uh, really rushed because I had to go to work, but I had some time, so I decided to make a video in that time. But I replaced this uh, jumper wire with a DIY jumper cable right there. So these other jumper cables on the side, they came from one of these uh, boxes right there. So this is actually two that I combined, and um, I think that's from something else. But uh, any case, I also have some uh, curved jumpers for going above the 555 you can see that right there but otherwise this is uh two of uh these kits uh put into one so it's a bit cramped right there and then i think i lost maybe two of these gray jumpers so i may uh make uh some with these black ones these 22 american wire gauge solid wire right there so last video i used red i also got black and i got yellow so this came in a kit called the Make Electronics Kit. I think it was the first one um, that Radio Shack was selling. And um, they have changed the kits over time. I don't know if they did again. And uh, I, I think it's more expensive than uh, what you should buy if, uh, if you want uh, wire. But it has a bunch of other stuff. But in any case, we're not gonna worry about that too much. Just uh, be aware, 22 American wire gauge, solid, solid wire. It's not a bunch of strands. And uh, there we go. So. Should be able to just bend this with my finger right there and get a nice bend. But um, sometimes, especially if you want to bend it like again halfway, you might want to use uh, pliers right there. These uh, pliers also have snips right there. So I got a tool just like this, so only uh, you know it, it ends at the snips, comes to a point. Doesn't have uh, pliers. But I don't know where I put that. So when it comes to going across, so I mean ideally, I want it up here you know, when when I'm done, going across over to the blue one, like the red one. But I'd like it to be, you know, this length if possible. But especially with the tool, um, it's a bit hard to get an accurate uh, measurement. So um, let's uh, come off to the side like this. And maybe if uh, I snip it right along the uh, breadboard, hopefully that didn't sound like a real loud crack on camera. So again, we're a little, crowded there but yeah maybe that'll give me kind of the right length so I did it a little bit more eyeballing uh, yesterday so yeah this is uh, it's longer than I want but still it will uh, curve up to the red one so yeah maybe I'll just kind of kind of stick with that I can snip like just a little bit more so I'm looking through the camera so it won't be as accurate but yeah let's uh Let's see if that was the right amount. There we go. And again, I'm just gonna bend it by hand. Pliers would work uh, good too. But uh, in any case, a lot of kits, uh, basic kits come with uh, these jumper wires and then also these jumper cables right there. But uh, when you wanna start making a uh, more specific length, that worked out really well right there. Um, then, you know, you kinda gotta get a solid wire right there and um, get a tool ideally one of these automatic ones is, is the best bet but uh, these pliers and I as I said before they also came with snips they came in another kit if you see my snips and videos they, they got the same handle and it also came with a tool that uh, has holes in it you close and that can strip insulation but it's made for like metric or something instead of American wire gauge um, but you know it, it will still work I made videos a long time ago um, so yeah, there are other tools for stripping insulation as well, or you could use a razor blade or something if you really want to. Um, but in case, yeah, we got the solid wires uh, right there. Now, if you really want to use stranded wires, I don't really have an example uh, right now. I have these little blue things. You see them on a lot of uh, integrated uh, circuits, and um, they, you know, they kind of screw down. Uh, like this they got an opening you can put stranded wire in and then it's got a screw and it actually has like a little plate that comes down it may have screws but um, the ones I have it has a plate that comes down so it doesn't twist up the strands and that uh, tightens it that way there's a lot of options but um, this uh, looks pretty neat right there uh, like that again I rushed with the red one in the last video so um, any case uh, pretty basic stuff right here, but a lot of people are just uh, beginning to learn. So when it comes to putting together circuits, you're going to have to figure out how you want to connect them and stuff. You 
uh, probably won't want to do it exactly like I do. I mean, I really like it. I can't see any other way I would uh, do it right there, uh, how I would do it, but you may have a different way you want to connect everything. So that's perfectly fine. Just uh, look at what's available and see which one looks like it's the best for you. Oh, there's uh, that's what I was looking for, one of these. Um, there's also these connectors. You can put uh, stranded wire in like I got there. You can also take out, but this is uh, pretty large uh, strands. So I think I... Uh, I think they're twisted because I twisted it like this but yeah I gotta kind of be careful because the lever does kind of catch so you really want to get these wires uh, together so especially for this uh, kind of wire um, when it was straighter you know it went in better I generally plan on leaving it there like that and then uh, you know if, uh, smaller wire I can put a ferrule on there fit it in there and snap it down the ferrule you can remove and put back in a lot more so any case, all kinds of connection options, and uh, just be aware of that. Watch a bunch of videos of people doing different types of connections. I think this one works out pretty good when you're careful about the sizing right there. And I'm kind of low on the number of gray ones, so I might take some of this black wire and uh, make a few uh, that same length right there. And uh, that should work out well. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.